Hello, everybody. It is Friday night. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for Shauna Spillin, the Presley T, and live, guys. It's not always easy going live. I'm going to wait for more people to come. I already went and sent off all the, the links. If you guys can't find it, you can find it on my personal Facebook page. I put it there, too. So, just going to wait for some more people to come in. Anyways, it's Friday. I hope you had a wonderful Friday today. I sure did. It's the end of the spring break week for me and my family. <laughs> we'll be back to work and school on Monday morning. So, it was nice having a week off, but I'm not going to complain. Summer's coming up, and during the summer, I get off during that time, too. Hey, C. Pam, how you doing, honey? You ready to talk about some more stuff? Because I'm going to dish it to you guys. I'm going to dish it to all you guys real soon. I've got some things that I've seen that I want to talk about. A few people have been waiting on what I wanted to talk about this week. Hey, Patricia. And you're ready, Pam? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for some more people. Hey, Anthony. Hi, Shauna. Sorry I missed your show last Friday. Oh, that's okay. I hope you watched it uh, later on. If you didn't, go back and watch it. We went over some cool stuff last Friday. Hi, Ruby. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I was just telling everybody that this is the last day, really. Tomorrow's the last day of my spring break. So it's back to work on Monday, back to school, all that stuff. Sometimes when you have a break, you really don't want to go back. <laughs> to be honest, once you have a week off, you really don't want to go back. you got to kind of recuperate from, from vacation. Hi, Tracy. It's good to see you, too. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, go watch next week's after you're done with this week's. You might learn something. We went over some things last week. Hey, Elvis Chick. Hey, Sandra. First time? Well, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Lady Lucilla, hello. Kathleen, hi. Rainbow24, hello. Kathy, how are you? I know I worked in school system for 25 years. Well, then, Kathy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Once spring breaks over, you don't want to go back, but you got to for the children, of course. Pam, Patty, hello. Rhonda. Chloe, hey, Shauna, hey, you girl. And yes, you do, Kathy. Hola, Maria. Buenas noches. Glad you, glad you came. Anyways, I guess there's enough of y'all. So you guys have been looking in the news lately, and you would think after all this time, the ex-wife would be quiet and all that's been said and done will be like, fine. Hey, Clementine. I need, since I have you, Clementine, please send me an email of your address so I can send that, so I can send that bus that you won out to you. I, for some reason, I, you're the only one I couldn't find the address to, Clementine. So if you could email me, that would be great. Yeah, because I didn't see it. Joanne, hey. Anyways, and Lily, hello. So, okay. We've been on this story about Elvis's ex-wife for a while now. Hey, Sally. Hey, Susanna. And it seems like it never ceases. It never stops. That's what we always talk about. That's what most channels are talking about. And, of course, I did come up with the name of Prissy Pants. So I'm very proud of that. And a lot of people are using it now. So, you know, kind of flatters me to know that other people are using the Prissy Pant name. <laughs> Patricia. But um, this week, she was right dead in center with the governor of Tennessee, helping him sign this uh, Elvis Act into motion. But here's the funny kicker. Have you guys seen the picture of Priscilla sitting next to the, the governor of Tennessee as he's signing the uh, Elvis Act? 
that was a photo opportunity, guys. She couldn't pass it up. And she was also a day, the, the post was also a day late, meaning she wasn't there during the actual signing of the Elvis Act. She was just there for a photo op, guys. So just throw it out there. It was a photo opportunity. She couldn't pass it up. I mean, Elvis is in the name of the Elvis Act, right? Right? So she couldn't pass that up. And if you guys are wondering what the Elvis Act is, uh, Tennessee put it in the law to implement legislation of this kind with the law taking effect July 1st of 2024. Once the law takes effect, it will prohibit using AI technology to mimic an artist's voice without permission and violation of the law can subject one to civil or criminal action. Basically, it's something put into place that's going to make AI more limited to what you're seeing. Okay, so you know those fake AIs that we've been seeing of Elvis, um, he's talking, he's, he's dancing, he's singing. We know it's not Elvis. We know it's AI Elvis. Well, this act will keep people from putting words in their AI Elvis's mouth that he didn't say. And it also is an act for all entertainers and music business people. It's not just for Elvis. It's for all celebrities even prissy pants. So uh, starting July 1st, it'll be illegal to use anybody's real voice or any kind of different changing in the AI to the real person on screen. So it's protecting people and their likeness. So, I mean, I'm kind of glad it's being pushed into law because there is a lot of AI technology abuses that are out there online. And I know you guys have seen them lately. But yes, Cat Girl Blue, so far, it's only in Tennessee. I know, isn't that crazy? You would think all the states would get into play, but so far, it's only Tennessee. So I don't know how far they can get because it's only in one state. Maybe it'll be like a domino effect. One state does it and it trickles down to the others. Who knows? I don't know. Hey, Susie. I didn't see you there. And hello, William from De Quincy, Louisiana. I've seen you. See, Pam, I think you will be a great voice for Prissy's AI. Well, you know, I'll do my best, my very, very best, and that's better than some people. Anyway, you know, it would be fun. They need to call me. I'm ready. They need to call me. I'll put words in her mouth for her. <laughs> I'll put lots of words in her mouth, but that would be fun. I would definitely say yes if someone were to call to ask me. I've been waiting for this part for my whole life. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy for everything. <laughs> oh, and Elvis, too. <laughs> but you got a point there, Cat Girl Blue. It's only in Tennessee, so I don't know how far that will go. And Clementine, I'm writing my um, email address here in the comments, right below everybody's name. You should be able to find it. I'm writing it down for you. Because I need to get your address or I can't send off that movie to you, honey. I mean, the, the bust. You got the bust. Queen Scott, hi. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Lady Lucille is laughing and Elvis Dick's laughing. Well, you know, I've got to say yes if they call. Maria, good evening. Appreciate you guys being here. And Sally. Long, tall Sally. She's real sweet. She got. Everything that Uncle John needs, oh, baby, yeah, baby, ooh, baby, having me some fun tonight. All right, Cheryl, hi, girl. Hey, girl. Did you guys hear about that earthquake in New York today? Maria, isn't that close to you, honey? Goodness, even, even at a four point something and twice today, that would be... Gary. Only reason why I'm saying that is one time I was in an earthquake in 1992, I believe. Or, yeah, it was one of the biggest in California. 
it was a seven point something in the early 90s and I was there we just got done going to Disneyland the night prior to the earthquake so it was so crazy like the first time this country girl from Arkansas seen anything like that I couldn't imagine what you city folk were thinking of four point something in a place that earthquakes normally don't happen so oh my goodness Sue, you're from New York and you didn't feel nothing? Well, it was from someplace in New Jersey up to New York. Even the Statue of Liberty was shaking. So, goodness, it had to be scary. Maria, I felt it. Everything in my kitchen rattled. Girl, oh, it would scare me. <laughs> when it happens, it looks like the hand of God just comes out of nowhere and starts throwing things and water and all kinds of stuff happens. Goodness. It was in New Jersey, only 50 miles from New York City. Yeah, but they had a camera on top of the Statue of Liberty, and it showed it shaking. So it, they had to have felt some of it. That had to be scary, though. 4.8 earthquake. Yeah, but you guys have had aftershocks, too, today. You felt it, too, Rainbow? The epicenter New Jersey? Goodness. <laughs> Tom, she was almost two weeks late. The law was signed on March 21st. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. This was already signed. So the picture of her next to the governor had to be just a photo op only because that was already signed into bill. So that was weird. And plus, you know, something's off when there's no representative from Elvis Presley Enterprises being there, too. So, you know, something's off when that doesn't happen. Clementine. Oh, apparently earthquakes are more frequent around total eclipses. Very interesting. Yeah, we got a total eclipse May 8th. Everybody talking about that too. And people telling people to be, be prepared and get your food and stuff ready. And it's like, we've never had a government tell us to be, to be prepared during an eclipse. They would always tell us, you know, wear the right sunglasses and don't look directly at the sun. But nothing like this. It is kind of odd. It's very weird. So, yeah, y'all be careful April 8th. I'll be at, back at work, but I'll be just getting out of work as this all is going on. So, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that's the story of the Elvis Act of Tennessee and how Priscilla swindled her way for a photo op days, days and days after it was already signed into law. So that just shows you something. So, And New York Sioux, they might be making a big deal about it, but it kind of makes you wonder, why? They've never done this before. They never made a big deal about it. And grifter she is, Tom. She invented gold digging. She knows how to do it professional-wise. She's a professional at it, folks. Don't try this at home. You'll end up with no friends and no one who really loves you. So don't do that. Lori, thank you. Love you, too. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I just try to keep it out there and keep it real, guys. And I listen to what you guys have to say. How many Elvis channels does that? That's why I love these li live chats with you guys. I can read and we can focus and we can be together on the same level here. You know, that's why I like these, these lives. And somebody else already mentioned it in the chat, but I haven't mentioned it to you guys. But here's the other thing that's going on. Priscilla and Navarone are going to start selling their photos together, tasteful photos, that is, for $200 a pop. Who does that? Who wants a picture of them? And who wants to pay $200? I know I'm not going to be up front. I mean, they, yeah, Clementine, they could get away with $50, $25. It'd be like Elvis Fan Matters channel, about $45. But 200 bucks To see Elvis's ex-wife with the illegitimate son she had with a man she didn't even know was really Brazilian? <laughs> Who wants that? Really? And that's just another thing. 
you know, I know Rhonda has already talked about this on her channel, but it's like, how much more are you going to dig out of the out? How much more are you going to dig out of the Elvis Presley fan base? That seems like the only place that she's digging, folks. She can't sell anything else in any other circle. It's only us Elvis fans that buy this stuff, that think this stuff is relevant. You know, it's it's pretty sad, really, because we're the base. We're the base that she that she tries to rip off of every chance that she gets. Now she's using her son for it. Now we all know that she's supposedly broke. <laughs> you know, she's supposedly broke, according to the reports and this new lawsuit that's coming about with Bridget Cruz. So she needs to get money. So what other way to do it than to coerce your son into helping you make a buck or two? Uh, we need to make money because you got to pay the rent, Navarro. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anthony, Scylla Dunn really lost her mind if she ever had one. Oh, she has one. She's just calculated and she knows where the money is. And that's where she is most of the time, where the money is. Tom, she's got a little boy doing her dirty work and he hates Elvis fans. Tom, that's absolutely correct. The people they're trying to fish for these $200 a piece photos is Elvis fans and Navarone can't stand any of us. He said it before and he'll say it again. He can't stand us. He can't stand Elvis Presley. And he sure couldn't stand his own sister, Lisa Marie Presley, which he said lots of times on live. So what 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 do we need with these people? I would pay $200 to never have to see those two again. I'll pay 200 bucks just so I never have to look at their faces again. I'd pay it. That's that's the money I'd pay. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. They would take more than $200 to pay these people off. Heck, it took it took Riley Keough a million dollar payoff to get least to get Priscilla off of their back and four hundred thousand dollars in legal fees and of course her uh, consultant fee. It just keeps on going. You know, I guess it don't take any. It it takes more than that to pay these people off because they just keep coming. They just keep coming which does not make any sense to me. How can a family like that be close? How can a family like that be the tie that binds? We see pictures, but are they really the happy family that they per perceive themselves to be? Is it really this way behind closed doors? What's being talked about behind closed doors? Inquiring Elvis minds want to know. Of course, we'll never find out until somebody decides to say something. And that's the only way. And even if they do, it would take a lot of convincing on is that person telling the truth or not. And you're right, Tom. It's all smoke and mirrors at this point. And Clementine said, I bet they negotiated for a number of public public appearances a year, too. I bet you they did. Everything's on the table for negotiation at this point. If that were my family, I do not care if I share blood with these people. I wouldn't want to be around them. This is what boggles my mind. Tina, hi, Shauna. I'm just coming in. How was your camp out with your baby boy? I have a question. Why didn't Riley get invited since she's Lisa's daughter? That is totally wrong. The woman is not a Presley. Well, the camping trip was short but sweet. And number two, hold on. And number two, it's not that Riley didn't get invited to this Easter photo that came out a few days ago. It's probably she had other commitments. I'm kind of glad she wasn't in there because it kind of gives me hope in my heart, you know, that maybe she had nothing to do with this suave of business dealing with a photo on Easter with Jerry Schilling on this side and whoever these people were on this side. And then you have the twins. But in my personal opinion, I looked at the photo. I looked at the twins very carefully, and I thought to myself, this doesn't look like a happy family. This looks like a photo opportunity, and Riley missed out on the opportunity with other engagements. That's what I saw. I don't know what you guys saw, 
but in that Easter photo, that's what I saw. Okay. That's what I saw. And the only thing in that room that's Elvis Presley is the DNA that Harper and Finley have. And that was it to me. These people are estranged from Elvis Presley. You need to start remembering that if you guys haven't already. These people are estranged from Elvis Presley. So I don't know why people keep putting them on a pedestal. They never even met the man. What is going to be their future, especially the twins, is yet to be seen. They're just 16 years old. That's their, their children. What we've seen of Riley, we're still questioning. So even if you're an adult, we're never going to get the full answers that we want. But the only thing that keeps shooting to me as an answer is they're estranged from Elvis. Why do we even care? Why do we put them on a pedestal? Granted, I care for the twins. They're Lisa's daughters. They're Elvis's grandbabies. But they never met Elvis. Um, I'm hoping and praying that Lisa instilled information in her daughters to love and respect their grandfather. But even that, they're young. It's yet to be seen. You know, I go by people's actions. They don't have any actions yet. They're children. And what Riley is giving the world, what Riley is giving to the public, is very limited, folks. She's not saying much. And what she is, is she, what she is saying is very, it's very minimal. So we just got to wait and see for some of this. We just have to wait and see. Queen Scott, Priscilla Chickens has, has come home to roost these days. Her well is drying up. Yeah, because as Elvis fans, her well don't believe in her and her lies anymore. That's why. Will, did Navarone Garibaldi Garcia get a little of that settlement with Riley? We don't know. Truth be known, he shouldn't get a penny of it because of that clause in Lisa's irrevocable trust that anybody that gets any of that money has to be drug free or they can't get their money. I don't think Navarone is drug free, do you? I mean, he just had a live not very long ago, and I believe he was rolling something. So you guys tell me. I don't think he got the settlement yet if it goes by the rules of Lisa's irrevocable trust. Rainbow, Easter family photo of Priscilla Presley, Michael Lockwood, the twins, Jerry Schilling, and Lisa's assistant, and probably Jerry Schilling somewhere or another. I'm not sure. But it just didn't look like a family photo to me, guys. It looked like a photo op, a photo opportunity. Elvis Chick, bull you, she knows how to say 3500000 dollars like the price of their one home. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious, Elvis Chick. Hi, Cheryl. Tom, I agree, Clementine. Incredibly curious about Elvis. Oh my God, Shauna, I would join you in paying $200 to make them just stay away with all things Elvis. That's $400. Who's with us? Yeah, let's get it going. Let's just pay her off. I would just rather pay her off than to ever have to see her or deal with her again with Elvis in the name. I mean, yeah, yeah. I wish Riley would just pay her off. Never see your face or likeness again. Just go away. Just get the hell out of Elvis world. Just go. Go, go, go. Don't go away mad. Just go away and don't let that door hit your butt on the way out, woman. Susanna. No, because at Easter, Riley, Ben, and their daughter weren't there, but twins and Lockwood were. Yeah, they were in the photo, but Riley and the twins and her husband weren't. I mean, Riley, her daughter, and her husband wasn't. But I don't know if it was because another obligation kept her from being in that photo, or did Riley finally get smart and decide, I don't want anything to do with this woman. Every time I get near her, there's always bad press. I think I'm going to just sit out on this one. I mean, I don't know, guys. You tell me, but I just think she had other, other, other things she had to do. LLNWT, did you see the Easter pictures? I did. That's what we're talking about. It just seems so fake to me, if that's a word. 
So that's how I feel, Shauna. Well, Riley would have been there if she could have. You can bet your bottom dollar, my opinion. Well, that is your opinion, and my opinion is as such, but maybe you're right. Maybe the obligations kept her from being there, but if she wasn't obligated, she would have been there right and center. But who knows? We don't have the, the dish on the behind the scenes of this photo. Not as of yet, no. But I see things that she does as a photo opportunity, just like everybody else, to make money in the Elvis world, by putting themselves out there. And some people will take it hook, line, and sink. Oh, look, it's the Presleys. They're, they're, they love Easter. Oh, that's so sweet. God bless them. Yeah, God bless them. God bless them. God forgive them. God bless them. God, I hope you show your holy light on them. Because you know what? We know Elvis knew who God was. He sure did. And he sure knew who Jesus was. But I bet you if you asked any one of those people in that room who their personal savior is, I bet you they'll just say, Is that the bank, Coldman Sachs? <laughs> I'm being mean. I should stop that. But really, I should be praying for them more than bashing them. Really. I should be praying for these people more than I bash them. And that's the truth. You know, I, I just see it every day, every photo people send to me. It's just, I see it. I see it. And I see it because she put her family in a cult. This family is not like any other family. Elvis chick, she won't stop taking money from anyone. He's always baked and fried. Well, Navarone has his substances, and he always has to do them while he's on camera. I don't get that. And maybe he just wants to be transparent in his addiction? I don't know. Tom, I think he got something to buy that house in Brazil. Mommy can't fund it. Well, he has his band, too. I don't know. I just know that by law, the clause says you have to be clean and clear of drugs to get the money. And we all know that Navarone is not free and clear. So how did he get the money? I mean, we're just hoping that the law keeps him from getting it, but we don't know. I would think that that would be a reason for Priscilla to control her son even more than to dangle this $1.9 over his nose. Hey, you better do what I tell you to do, little boy, because if you don't, I'm going to ruin you. Mama's going to ruin you. I'm going to take it all from you. You never know. Molly, what did I miss? Oh, just us bashing as we always do, guys. <laughs> if you want to watch what you miss, make sure you watch the beginning of this show when it uploads later, okay? There's some funny things I cannot redo. Cannot redo. I was lost in the moment, and I can't get it back. But you guys can watch it when it uploads, okay? But still. I think she's a dangle in this money over him. Hey, there you go. Hey. I, I just think that that's my personal opinion. This is a way to control him. Right now, he's uncontrollable. But with that money dangling, you can control a lot of people. We'll see. A lot of people are calling him her little puppet because he says things that she wants people to know that isn't true. But, you know, people watch his channel to get what they want to get out of it. I quit watching it right when Navarone said that he could not stand Lisa and he was glad that she was dead. That's when I quit watching him and joining in. Karen, thank you for the super thanks. I appreciate it, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. And Teresa says Riley is in another picture, probably busy. I think she was busy. I doubt if she didn't go because she didn't want to be seen with her Nona. I'm sure she was just busy of other obligations. Maria, Priscilla reminds me of Marticia. <laughs> At least Marticia was fun. Well, Anthony, Riley will teach them about their granddad's legacy, Shauna, just like we learned. They most definitely will. I mean, what she said, her Vanity Fair interview? Okay. Yeah, I don't trust that. The legacy that Elvis has, Riley doesn't even know. 
You know, she's finding out new things about her grandfather all the time. And she'll go, I didn't know that. That is just amazing. And I mean, she was kind of naive to think us Elvis fans wouldn't know that Tupelo is the hometown of where Elvis was born. And that's why she named her daughter Tupelo. But, you know, I'll give her the benefit of a doubt, but she don't need to um, ever deny how much we know about her grandfather. Because in respect, and this is respect, us as Elvis fans know more about her grandfather than I think she will ever know because she's had all this time to know so far what it was like, what he did. And it's not just his things, it's his history. So I'm hoping later on she might get curious and want to learn even more about her granddad. And in that case, I'll be proud. You know, I'll be happy that she wants to learn about her granddad. But I, I'll tell you straight, I don't see her learning about him anytime soon. She's too busy with her um, acting career, right? She has a, a Amazon Prime show coming up uh, called Under the Bridge. And she has her hair cut to here and it's dark. Let me tell you guys, she looks so like her mother in those movie skills. It was crazy. Riley and her mama share their looks. You can tell who her mama is, Lisa Marie. So I hope that she's proud of that and she will use that and, and, and be straight and narrow when it comes to her mom. But this is the thing. The twins obviously have heard what Navarone has said in the past. The twins had, had heard all that stuff. So it boggles my mind why the twins want to be in the same vicinity as their uncle Navarone when their uncle Navarone told the world on growing up in Scientology that he was glad Lisa was dead, she wasn't a good person to know, and that he was just glad she was dead. So they're old enough to know what social media is. In fact, a lot of people keep telling me that the twins have social media. So you tell me, guys, do they know what Uncle Navarone said? about their own mother who passed on or are they oblivious to it are they naive to it i really seriously doubt they're that naive this is why i know that this had to be a photo opportunity with the easter photo with michael lockwood close up to navarone with his arm around him and then the twins are off on the side by themselves i think they know i think they know Lori, first thing I noticed with the twins' expression, I thought they looked like they were not happy. Well, they're teenagers. That's an expression all teenagers make. It's like, God, do we have to be here? Oh, oh. That's a teenager for you. So don't go by what they look like. Most of the time, teenagers, unless it's to the mall or a shopping spree or someplace they want to go, they're always going to have that look on their face. So I didn't go by that. But what I went by was they weren't close to their father, who was close to Navarone. They were kind of on the side by themselves. So that made me think, hey, photo opportunity. Photo op. Will, how do you highlight someone's name? I've never tried that before. I don't know, Will. Elvis Chick, sorry, I'm not praying for the devil. Well, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. But, I mean, sometimes I feel bad. Sometimes I, I think to myself, should I be praying for these people? Or should I be sitting here for almost a two-hour show and bash them? What should I do? Granted, if I did that, I wouldn't have a show, would I, guys? It's in the bashing while we keep coming back for more. Cheryl, didn't Priscilla and Lockwood have the same publicist? They do. They do. But have you noticed that Priscilla Presley's uh, PR team has changed? Her social media has changed dramatically. In fact, now she has her little signature, Priscilla Presley social media, as a watermark on every picture they post. So people can't steal that picture. People always know it's from Priscilla Presley social media. But she's got a new PR team. And they're doing a heck of a good job trying to keep her relevant and out there. I wonder how much an hour she's paying these people. Yeah. 
We all know it's Elvis's money that keeps on paying, guys. Clementine, hmm, maybe he just claims to do THC, and I think that's legal in California. I am not saying it's legal or illegal, okay? What I am saying is what the will, the irrevocable trust said, sober, clean of drugs, <coughs> legal or not, it's not legal everywhere else. <clears throat> And I don't know how the state of California is, but I guarantee you if they were to PP test him, he would have something else in his system besides THC. So there's more people that have been watching his life more than I have. But a lot of people have said, you know, he's always messed up. They just don't know what on. <laughs> he's smart enough to not actually do it, whatever he's doing on camera. But wow. You know, I, I couldn't live like that. I don't understand how some do, but that's their prerogative. Rainbow, I agree with you, Shauna. Elvis is not her focus. Focus, at least not yet. Not yet. Maybe when she gets older. I don't know. I don't know. Natalia, she looked like Lisa a lot in the series promos. She does with the short hair. Yeah, she looks like her mama. It's it's real eerie. It really is. Tom, because Lockwood and Nav are buddies. Oh, they are. They they really, really are. And people need to open their eyes and realize. Oh, that rhymes. Open your eyes. Realize that these people are in on it for the money. The money, these photo ops, these press releases, all this stuff, it's smoke and mirrors for them to make money. If they're out there front and center, what they're promoting, it's just to make money, you know. But right now, Riley's promoting Under the Bridge. and She's, she's doing stuff for um, other, thing, other, other magazines and stuff, so she probably wasn't there for Easter. She's probably busy. I'm kind of glad I didn't see her in the photo just to give me a benefit of a doubt that maybe she wanted some distance between her and her Nona. I don't know. It's wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Susanna, Shauna, do you think Lisa regretted not teaching Riley more about Elvis and that's why she shared Graceland and Elvis more with the twins? Well, anytime Riley ever talks about Graceland and Elvis and her mother, it's always morbid. She always says it was a sad time being at Graceland, that her mother would lock herself up in Elvis's bedroom for days and days and days. And it was like perpetual mourning. And Riley had had an interview stating such. So when she does talk about Elvis and her mother and Graceland, it, it, there's always a sadness in her voice, you know? Plus, they're a little bit more removed from Elvis than Lisa. And I've been telling you guys since Lisa passed on that she's the last direct link to Elvis Presley, that it would not be the same without her. And I hate being right, folks. I do. I hate being right. But you know what? I was right. They are estranged from their grandfather because they don't know him like we know him. And that's why we kind of take it personally when we see things like this, because we love him personally. And they don't understand that, that love and admiration we have for their, for their grandfather. Anthony, I'm very proud of Riley for creating her own great legacy. Yeah, at least she's doing, you know, her own thing without having to use her grandfather for it. You know, at least she has that. Priscilla been using her ex-husband's name since 1975. <laughs> at least Riley did something that didn't have anything to do with Elvis or Elvis's legacy, right? Sue, so both my mother's parents were gone by the time I was born. I know most everything about them. My mother told me and my father too. That's the way it usually is in families, but that's regular family. That's like you and I. That's like us regular folks. I don't know what happens in these big mainstream families. Do you actually think the Kardashians know who their great grandfather is? Do you think they really even care? <laughs> 
talking about these rich, powerful people. They don't care who their legacy is. All they care about is money, spending money, and getting more money. They don't care about these these ties that bind, these family unit, units. They're not the same as we are. As soon as you guys figure it out, the best, the better. They're not like you and I. They're rich. They don't think like us. They're rich. We have to work for everything that we have. They don't. And some do, but it's not the type of work like we're used to working. It's acting or dancing or painting, something creative, something that we as normal people could never make money doing. (laughs) We have to keep our day jobs. But this is just a rich family. I don't think the dynamics are the same. Tom, Nav said in a live, Finley won't return his text. Her mama's daughter. Oh, that's great. Maybe that's why the twins didn't want to be there type look on their face. Because they know what Navarone said in the past about their mother. I'm hoping anyway. Tom, I'm sure Lockwood made them. I'm sure Lockwood, Michael Lockwood made them go for the Easter get together too. I mean, there has to be a photo op, right? Especially on Easter Sunday. The family got to look like they're together somehow. I don't know. Uh, Frank, hi from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, TCB, TLC, always Elvis. Hey, Frank, back at you. Sue, Will Richards, yes. Molly, I guess it's because they were in a damn cult and just didn't get the exposure to Elvis, which is baffling. But I could totally see Priscilla being greedy in that aspect, too. She's a hater, a hateful, awful person. Unfortunately, (laughs) Elvis Chick, there's no way over the years the twins haven't heard Lisa Marie say stuff. Their grandma's what's around her own mother they had to know or think. I know, it's not like every argument there was closed doors and nobody heard nothing. These girls know. I was just talking to a friend of mine today on the phone and I was like, You have to be naive to think that the twins and Riley have never heard a darn thing Navarone said about Lisa Marie. Are they deaf? Are they blind? Are they in this dimension? Because how is it they would not know? They would have to know. If we know, they know. Because we always are the last to know because we know from the grapevine, from, from the, you know, gossip gossip sites and stuff right from tmz and things but it just boggles my mind how some of us think that they don't know and i'm done thinking that they all have access to social media they all have access to the same material that we have access to there's no way they're that naive even the twins they're just there's there's no way there's no way to be that rich and to to not know what your uncle has said about your mother? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They have to know. Tom, we really don't know what the private conversations were between Lisa and Riley, though. No, we don't. We don't even know what they were. But you have to think about this. If Lisa did have a tift with her own mother, you would think Riley would know about it, being as close Riley is with her mother. I remember being as a child. Now, my grandmother and my mother have had some difficulties throughout the years. They're great now. They're great now. When I was a young girl, my grandmother and mother got in a tiff once or twice, and I'll never forget it. And I was young, and I heard what was being talked about. And I might have been six or seven, but I remember to this day that the fight that they had, even to the point of what we were eating that day, that's how much it rattled me to know my mom and grandmother are fighting so to remember remember my own personal experiences as a little girl watching my mom and her mom have fights they don't do that anymore but when I was younger it I remember that stuff you know they particularly want to forget that stuff but I remember that stuff I can even tell you what I was wearing that day um but 
the memory is a real tricky thing. So I'm just to a point, I gave them a benefit of a doubt for so long that now I cannot give them a benefit of a doubt anymore. This information is out there online. These people have access to social media and online accounts. There's no way they don't know what's going on. There's no way. There's no way. And, it, and they probably were curious and they probably looked up online the court records of their father divorcing their mother by now. And if they haven't, they just might. All this stuff can come into light later on. You know, there's a there's a quote that I like, and it's really important. The stuff that is done in darkness will be brought into light. Whether it's now, whether it's later, the stuff done in darkness will be brought into light. You know, and Elvis kind of had a saying like that, too. You know, truth is like the sun. You know, you could cover it up for a little while, but it ain't going nowhere. So the thing is, they have access. And if they don't, they're going to have it soon. And then they're going to find out everything we know. And you never know. They, in turn, could write a book. In about 20 years, we'll figure out what they think about all this debacle, this mess. So you never know. William, Kanye West don't like Elvis Presley. Well, I feel sorry for Kanye West. <laughs> I do. Elvis Chick still really knows how her mother felt, so I'm having a hard time. She caved into Witchilla, which Chilla so fast and always will. <coughs> we don't know what happened. There could have been blackmail happening behind the scenes. We don't know. You know, the Church of Scientology always teaches about things like that and fair game and all. You never know what was put on the table when these when these negotiations were happening. We weren't there. I did give them all the benefit of a doubt in the past, and I have said that. But now it's getting to the point where the rotten is on the wall. You can only give a benefit of a doubt for so long, and then it's gone. So I'm getting there. My benefit of a doubt is about out the window. I think it's all a photo opportunity. It's all a photo opportunity, guys. It's all for a way to make money. So, no, I'm sure those people don't care, but it bothers me about Elvis's grandchildren. Family was so important to him. Sadly, you were right, though, Shauna. I hate being right about things like that, but I just feel it in my heart. You know, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? And the only pudding we have got is whatever they've been throwing down at us. And it hasn't been a lot to go to go by here and there, here and there. I mean, I'll read you an article that came out a few days ago about Riley Keough. And it gets you back to where you were at square one. Like, what does she really think? What, what's really going on in her head? Susanna, in 1987, 88, People Magazine, Chrissy said she didn't talk to Lisa about Elvis much because that's when she was with Garibaldi Garcia and she was also pregnant with Navarone. There was no pictures of Elvis in the house. They were not allowed. Can you imagine what Lisa would have felt like knowing that every time you visit your mother's house, no pictures of your father were up at all? Kind of funny how fast Priscilla is at putting a picture of her and herself up at Graceland with Elvis. But in her own house, there's no picture of Elvis. So it makes you wonder, how is he the love of your life again? Not one picture in your personal home? Hmm. Hmm. See, that's another thing I can't stand. Natalia, there's no way Riley didn't watch Aaron's interview and what Navarone said about her beloved mother and brother. He trashed Ben, too. Riley adored that boy. Yeah, he trashes the people that didn't like him. The ones that didn't like him are the ones that he trashed. Sue, Kanye and Vanilla Ice can hang out together in the Losers Club. Who will remember them when they are gone? Not as many as people like us Elvis fans remember Elvis, that's for sure. Ain't nobody going to care about Ice Ice Baby What in 2065. <laughs> uh, ice Ice Who? Hi, Susie Q. 
Susanna, I agree, Shauna, it would be brought to light, but at what cost? What damage will have taken place and how badly is Lockwood talking horribly about Lisa? The truth of anything gets brought to light in time. That's all I mean, Susanna. The truth of anything will be brought to light in time, of anything. Look what's happening to that P. Diddy guy. The FBI raided his home thinking he's doing sex trafficking and he's into some things he shouldn't have been into. Did you guys ever think or dream that P. Diddy would be getting almost arrested? So, you know, in time, the truth is always brought to light. Might not be the time we want it or fast enough, but in time, it always comes into light. Rubes, girl, don't get sick again. I hear that cough. Oh, that's from the pollen, Ruby. I can't run away from that. There's pollen everywhere. There's about a, a half an inch of yellow dust on everything outside. I haven't even been able to open the windows all spring break in my house because it's just awful. So if you hear me coughing and my nose is running, I'm not sick. It's allergies. <laughs> it's allergies. William, don't feel pity or sorry for these people. And Kanye is a piece of crap. And that is your opinion, and I get what you're saying. Amy, I'm late. Oh, girl, I'm sorry about that. You'll have to watch the rest, the beginning of it. You know, when this uploads, you'll have to watch the beginning. We did cover a lot, though. Rosalind, have you heard that Prissy is writing a book about Lisa Marie? Oh, my gosh. I hope and pray no. Is it because Lisa has a book coming out in October, so Priscilla has to take Lisa Marie's thunder from the grave? Seriously, is there is there in, is there nothing this woman wouldn't do? Ah, oh, I hate to hear that, Rosalind. Ugh, I hate to hear that. Susie Q, how sad for Lisa, her beloved daddy. I think she's the only one that actually truly really loved him personally. Her and Gladys, to me, were the two that so much loved him. They just couldn't live without him. Teresa, hope they know how good and giving and loving their grandfather was. Well, if they don't, I hope and pray they learn in time. They're young. They have plenty of time to start learning about their grandfather. Clementine, no, Rosalind. Ah, but of course she would. Of course she would write a book when Lisa's bringing out hers. Ugh. I'll just check. Riley needs to see Miss Rhonda's video. <laughs> I doubt she will. Queen Scott, both Jerry Schilling and Priscilla wasn't around Elvis for years before Elvis's passing, but act as though they were the closest ones to him over these years. Close to each other, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's sad. You know, somebody asked me what I thought about Jerry Schilling, and I'll throw it out here to you guys. I think Jerry Schilling has been Priscilla Presley's lap dog since 1977. But that's my personal opinion. Just like with anything, this is for entertainment and, and, and educational purposes only, mostly entertainment, entertainment. But I do do the research, and we go through all these articles, and we talk about it together as an Elvis family, which we should. You know, and if you guys haven't already, please tell Tanya Jenkins that her graphics are wonderful when you see them because you'll love them this week. She did a great job. At the end of this show, I'm going to post them on the comment on the community page on the other side of this uh, channel. You can see all the, the photos there. But tell Tanya she did good. She never gets to come to these lives as much as we're here. And she misses us. So let her know because I know I love you, Tanya. Thank you for your graphics, hon. Will, Sue from Vanity Fair. There have been a conflicting reports online about whether Priscilla will be allowed to be buried at Graceland one day. There is conflicting reports. I think it's got to the point where we won't know what's going to happen until after she croaks. There's too many conflicting reports. I read an article last week where it said the judge approved, approved, approved all. It's all great, yada, yada, yada. And then I read another article which says they're still thinking about it. And it takes the city of Memphis to think about it. And with Riley's um, 
loophole to the best of her ability, she'll be buried there. So I don't know. I'm thinking it'll be once Priscilla Presley finally meets her maker, then we'll finally know what's going on and where her body will eternally etern for the rest of her life in the ground. Personally, I wish they would go ahead and just put her like somewhere in Los Angeles. It'd make me most happy to be buried where she can be, where she is, where she's living, where she dwells. When I saw her doing that press conference in Memphis, Tennessee last week, she said, oh, it's so, it's so good to be home. It's so good to be home in Memphis. It's so good to be home. And I'm thinking to myself, home? You just visited, woman. You go back to L.A. That's your home. <laughs> Ain't no home about Memphis to Priscilla. Wasn't she the one that left Elvis and Memphis behind in 1972 to move to Santa Barbara, California, away from Elvis? The love of her life. Oh, I've heard it all, folks. I've heard it all. Well, I don't know why she wouldn't want to be buried at Graceland, says Keo. I don't understand what the drama in the news was about. She just, she's estranged from her grandfather. The drama of the news? If she divorces her husband, do you think she wants to be buried next to his grave when he dies? You know, marriage is till death, right? We, we get buried next to our husbands and next to our wives when we die. Nowhere in history, and please, for, please, please, correct me if I'm wrong. Where in history is the ex-wife buried with the ex-husband? You tell me. And on the ex-husband's property, no doubt. <coughs> Can she not afford her own grave and her own gravesite in her home state of California? <laughs> I just don't get it. Let's see, Elvis Chick, Jer Jerry and Bo Yu have did the wild thing one time or another. Nobody will make me think not. <coughs> <coughs> Man, <clears throat> that's funny. I've always thought that too. Of course, we can't prove it. We can't prove it. But I've, I've always had that suspicion. As as close as, as they've been throughout these years. And it's so funny how Jerry always puts himself front and center when he wasn't. He wasn't. He was busy doing his own thing when Elvis died. He wasn't front and center with Elvis. It's just remarkable how much these people will lie to get Elvis money, right? So Schilling and Prissy, very strange relationship. Hmm. Tanya, always beautiful graphics. Thank you, hon. Thank you, Tanya. And thank you, Ruby. Thank you for the super thanks, honey. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You know, I, I don't make any money off of these. This is just truly for you guys. But I do my best. But, hey, thank you for the super thanks. I appreciate it. A uh, little here and there always helps. I appreciate all y'all's support, guys. Thank you. It touches me. It does. Thank you for, thank you for giving me money. Thank you, Rainbow. She won't get buried there. Watch. What you know? Something we don't know. Do you know something we don't know, Rainbow? Inquiring Elvis minds want to know. Do you know something? <laughs> Molly Zenu and the volcano will be ready to receive her body. Molly, you're funny. I like the way you think. To Elvis Chick, absolutely. Rainbow, ah, to be a fly on the wall when she does meet her maker. Hmm, that'll be a crazy time. Elvis Chick, thank you, Tanya. Awesome graphics this week. Lady Lucilla, thank you, Tanya. Great graphics. Karen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yes, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, it makes the algorithm go where my videos will be um, shared more and it'll also be suggested more for new people to be on this channel. So I appreciate it. All your support. If you like this, thumbs up. If you are a new person to this channel and you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It just takes a second and then you'll be part of the family, guys. 
So thank you. And you know, I love you either way. Susanna, if Memphis was home, why did she leave and hightail to LA? Because, because Memphis was never home to her. She never liked it there. Elvis would just make her stay there when he had to go have fun. You know how he, he would just leave her there, right? I mean, her whole movie is about him leaving her so lonely. I'm so lonely. You know, so that's just the way it goes. She hated Memphis because that's the place Elvis left her where she was alone without him while he was having fun in Hollywood and making those movies. Seemed he went to Hollywood to get away from Prissy. <laughs> Oh, cat girl blue home she couldn't wait to leave exactly girl patricia i hope you're right rainbow Susie q stop shauna laugh out loud, loud your imitation kills me every time <laughs> hey i just i just i just call it the way i see it <laughs> will jerry was not elvis's best friend i think that was cousin billy smith Whenever I hear Jerry Schilling as Elvis's best friend, my thought is, how do we know? <laughs> he likes to make up stuff, too, guys, to make him more important than what he really was. Sarah, my great-great-grandfather was buried next to his first wife. Okay, this is the first for me. So was she an ex-wife or did she die his first wife? Okay, your grandfather is buried next to his first wife. So he outlived his first wife. And married again, and then decided to be married, to be buried by his first wife and not his second wife? Hmm. Cheryl, what if Riley didn't petition the city of Memphis for her to be buried? I don't know, Cheryl. What if Riley doesn't? I guess Prissy will be buried there then. I don't know. But she better ask the city of Memphis if she can, because that's what's waiting for all this. The city of Memphis has a say. That's the only faith I have in anything anymore right now is the city of Memphis. <sighs> Molly, Jerry Schilling is a flaky poser, just like Priscilla. So they're two peas in a pod. Yep. Sharon, Jerry was not Elvis's best friend. I think that was Cousin Billy Smith. Yep. I do, too. I do, too. Sharon, laugh my butt off. Yes, right again. It's not her home in Memphis, and Elvis may crawl out. If she gets too close, how about the horse pasture? She loved out by the barn. Mm, nice place for her. Amy, if she felt like Graceland was such a prison, why would she want to spend eternity there? So we all have to go by her grave and pay homage, just like we do Elvis, and now we do Lisa. That's why. She saw how much we love and adore Lisa and how we will go and pay our respects to both Elvis and Lisa, and she wants to be in the fray. She wants to be in the mix. She wants us to have to walk by her grave in order to see the two most important people of why we're even there to begin with. That's what I think. And a lot of the other people think of that, too. It's not just me. Let's see. Uh, Rainbow. She was in New Jersey this week and visited her hometown where she grew up. Her words. Wow. How many. Wow. So many years have passed, and yet I'm still a dinosaur. Wow. <laughs> Will, Jerry was not, oh, I read you already. Sue, her maker isn't upstairs, though. Don't want to be there. Mm -mm -mm. Elvis chick. Elvis supposedly had more best friends than anyone ever has. I know, right? And he has more relatives crawling out of the woodwork than he ever had, too. <laughs> between friends and fake relatives, I mean, I guess he was never alone, was he? Sharon, I know some in Memphis who know Elvis are saying it won't happen. Prissy being planted there? She squatted too long already. Hmm. I hope your friends from Memphis are right. Cat Girl Blue. 
And what about this new BS from David Stanley? Enough lies already. I know. And what about him actually getting a, a series? He's getting a series, isn't he? His own Elvis series. Like they're going to portray him as a little boy growing up with Elvis in this series. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. I wonder how much of the script they had to make up. Probably the whole thing. <laughs> oh, man. Sue, I never receive notifications when you go live, though. I don't get it. I get notifications for all comments. Huh. You are subscribed, and did you hit the notification bell when you subscribe? Because there's a place to hit that notification bell. You still have to hit that notification bell even if you subscribe. Because I've noticed if you don't hit that bell, they're not going to send you a notification. Will, Elvis Chick. Elvis supposedly... Goodness. Oh, my goodness. I missed a lot of y'all. Sorry. Oh, supposedly had more best friends than anyone else has. Yes, and the three very close brothers, Billy, David, and Ricky. Sarcasm. Susie Q. Thank you, Tanya, for all your hard work and make such beautiful graphics. Rainbow 24, Elvis Chick. As many best friends as Toxilla has hometowns. <laughs> Karen, thank you, Tanya. Elvis Chick, I know. I've seen that piece of trash had that out. Amy, the only reason she wants to be buried there is because she saw the outpouring of love for the huge crowd at Lisa's, and she wants that for herself, jealous of her own death. Amy, you hit the nail on the head, hon. Sue, never heard of an ex being buried next to their ex before. It's a first for me, too. Well, according to Girl Above, it's happened before, but, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot. I, that's the first I ever heard of it. First I ever heard of it. Jean, hi, Shauna. Sorry, it's so late. It's okay. I'm glad you're here. I mean, I'll be leaving in a little bit, but you can you can replay this uh, when it uploads, guys. Whatever you missed, it will upload, and you can watch it from beginning to end to see what you missed. Sue, so you're so right, Amy. Jealousy is an ugly thing, and so is Chrissy. Yep. Tim. Hi, sweet Shauna. Hi, Tim. Elvis Chick. Laugh out loud. I know Will, his little brother, he loves so much. Laugh out loud. Not. Sarah. Grandfather died first. First wife was buried next to him, even though divorced. His widow was buried somewhere else. Well, that, Sarah, is the first I've ever heard of it. So, Girl, you're the exception to the rule. Let's not let Prissy know anything about that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Elvis Chick, good night, Teresa. Take care. Sweet dreams of Elvis. Soon, no Elvis fan would go near her grave. Heck, I won't go to Graceland, period. Well, there's a few of us that decided we're not going to Graceland if she's buried there. But do you really think that, that will break EPE's bank? I don't. I don't think that'll break EPE's bank at all, I unless all of us decide not to go. And I really doubt it's a unified thing. I wish it was, but it's not. Queen Scott, his first wife was his late wife, not his ex-wife. Vernon wanted to be in eternity with his late wife, not his ex-nightmare D. True that. That's true. But she wasn't his ex-wife. Uh, Gladys died on him and made him a widow. So really, the only person that was his ex-wife in the end was D, because D got divorced from him in the late 70s. And that's what made him go with Sandy Miller, right? So you have Gladys that was never divorced from Vernon. She just died. So that makes more sense than an ex-wife being buried next to her ex-husband to me. I mean, if you're a widow or and that person died on you and you were still married upon death, then yeah, be buried together, you know, but divorced. I don't know. That's a whole nother subject. Sharon, David is off the chain. Billy Stanley has a little more sense, but David has told way too many Elvis fairy tales already. Shaking my head. I know. And I did a show about that, about the Stanleys in general. You know, Billy seems to stay out of it. He gets 
into it every once in a while, but the one that keeps getting into it over and over and over and over again is David. David. Tim, I used to enjoy drinking coffee with Uncle Vester. He was a hoot. I heard he was. I have his book that he autographed. I'm happy about that. But I heard he was a character and a fun one at that. Millicent, what about her last name? What is her legal name? Love your work, Tanya. Love your interest in research. I've learned so much. Um, what about her last name? Are you talking about Priscilla's last name? In respect, she should go by um, Wagner Bull U, but she'll always use Presley till the day she dies and even after. Sharon, Chrissy wants flowers and attention. The nerve to ask to move his grandmother to be next to Elvis. Thank God that they said no. Oh, I know. They better not. That's why I said it says that they cannot move any existing graves. So, yeah. Mitchell, if she buried there, sorry, but we all need to boycott Elvis's home. She's not Presley anymore. All fans need to take care of this. What you think? I think so, but you would need a very big following in order to keep all the fans on the same level. You have Priscilla Presley fans that are also Elvis fans, which is crazy to even think about. And then you have all the Elvis fans in different camps. You have the, the Elvis fans in the Ginger camp, the Elvis fans in the Linda camp, the Elvis fans on which Memphis Mafia they like the best. There's so many different Elvis camps. You would have to reunite, you would have to unite every single Elvis camp into one to make EPE see that we mean business. That would take a lot of organization and that would take a lot of work, you know, which I know a lot of y'all are hard at work. It's just, there's a lot of us and you'd have to keep us together. You'd have to bring us together for a common cause. And it would have to be enough of us where EPE starts feeling that money belt tighten, you know. And I just don't know. It'd take a lot of work. It'd take a lot of time. Elvis Chick, only time I've seen exes buried together, they're at the scene of a crime. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Hand Mup. Have a cousin whose ex was buried next to her. Then his widow was buried beside him. Crazy for sure. Oh, wow. That'd be a lot of drama. A lot of drama in the ground. Incredibly curious about Elvis. If she is buried at Graceland and they will need to hire a cleanup crew, if people were irritated by visitors jumping in the pool, they really aren't going to like people spitting and peeing on her grave. Oh, no, they're not. They're going to have to get a security team to stand right by that grave. Because I'm telling you, besides pee and spit, there might be some other things and some surprises put in between, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> That's funny. Sue, I don't think it will make a difference, but it will to me. I will know I am doing right by Elvis and Lisa, his parents, and his family. Elvis Chick, good night, Rainbow. Take care, sweet dreams. Well, Elvis Chick, if you, hey, good night, Rainbow, if you're leaving. I'll see you. I'll see you next week. Amy, my ex died last October at 56 years old. He was my best friend still. He had three children and were married 14 years, and I'd still never expect to be buried by him. It's crazy. I know, because you move on, and you move you move on with people you love and spouses change, right? So I, it just boggles my mind. It really doesn't anymore. Nothing that Prissy Pants does surprise me at this point. Nothing she does surprises me. Nothing. I'm to that point where nothing surprises me that she does. Now, there's things that, there's things that surprise me from other people in the Elvis world, but not her. Not the ex-wife. There's nothing that surprises me with her anymore. Sharon, I do not like English visitors like her much. We may be surprised, but I certainly won't go to Graceland. I do not think English visitors. I don't think English visitors like her either, but they sure 
cater to her when she visits England. John, I can't believe they are thinking about her letting her be buried at Graceland. These people have fell and bumped their heads. Yeah. Sue, Amy, I am so sorry for your loss. You were right, though. I never heard of it before tonight. Barbara, night all. Got to get up at 5 a.m. We'll read and watch the last part tomorrow. Thanks, Barbara. Be safe out there. Richard, people probably bought a plot together and possibly couldn't get refund when the spouse changed. Vicky, it's a plausibility for regular folks like you and I. Cat Girl Blue, Linda was in that picture smiling and hugging David Stanley. I don't get it. I don't get it either. It's like people that know the story and knows what happened are still paying homage to some of the people that made the story even plausible to begin with. So, yeah, I don't get that. I mean, Linda did post a picture of David when he was young. And then, yeah, and I guess she still cares about David, perhaps. There's a lot of people that have forgotten about David that don't want anything to do with him at this point. But then there's some people in the Elvis world that haven't forgot about him and that keep bringing him up. Didn't she post because it was David's birthday or something like that? It just surprised me is all. At this point, I'm like, why does anybody even give any of the Stanleys the time of day with all the stuff they've said about Elvis throughout the years? Will, David's off the chain. Billy Stanley has a little more sense. You mean like Billy's new book where he states that he died for 10 minutes and the first person he met was Elvis while dead? Okay. You know, to each their own will. Amy, has anyone noticed that Pris has started deleting negative comments on her Instagram and commenting back to her fans? I don't follow her, but I do like to go on all these negative comments. Well, Amy, it's because she has a new PR team and they decided that it's best to delete negative comments. She hired people to do it, which means, guys, you really think she's spending time sitting at home. I'm going to post an X or an Instagram or on Facebook. And she type in and send. Do you really think she types her own messages? I seriously doubt it. She pays somebody to do it. Will you please dictate what I'm about to say and push send? Thank you. I think that that's how that goes on. Sharon, each state petition, petition with Facebook petitions. Flood EPE with notice of boycott if she is out there. No crypt at his feet blocking for attention. Well, got to get started somehow, Sharon. Rainbow, still here. I thought you were leaving, Elvis Chick. Laugh out loud. I thought one of y'all were leaving. Elvis Chick, Molly. She has two famous pilot boyfriends in the same cult, Cruz and Travolta. Well, I guess she gets frequent flyer miles then, right? <laughs> oh. Sue, Ella, he annoys me. He's taking advantage of gullible people. They think he's 89. Oh. I think I know who you're talking about. Well, no, it won't break EPE's bank because there's so many out there that believe Priscilla is the savior of Graceland. That is what I thought until I came across you and Rhonda. Well, now you think differently because you know the truth, Will. I wish I had the time to enlighten everybody that is lost in the Presley world. Kimberly, I can see her grave being vandalized with the Prissy fans. I can see it, too. They better get some security in there. Will, Elvis is the man YouTube channel loves David Stanley. Well, to each their own, you know. To each their own. Queen Scott. Priscilla is so selfish. Lisa is where she wants to be with her family. But she don't care about Navrone, who is estranged from his dad. You think she would want to be near him when the time comes. I don't know. I don't even think she thinks about her kids as much as some of y'all think that she does. Did she think about Lisa? <laughs> you know, after all these years, did she think really about Lisa? 
I don't think she did. Amy, oh, she keeps reassuring her fans that it's really her commenting back. Oh, I'm sure she is, but I don't think she is. I mean, people pay people for that kind of stuff, you know, so. Rainbow, my dad was a widower. Then he married and divorced three more times. He says he loved them all. I asked him which one he does want to be buried next to him, and Dad said, none of them. <laughs> he wants he wants it to be quiet for eternity. That's why, girl. That's why. <laughs> Cheryl, I posted that the motorcycle didn't belong to Sly, as she claimed. It belonged to Sly's friend, Nick. There's a lot of shady stuff that's going on in the auction set. For sure. Amy, I'm sure it's all part of the Mile High Club and she's a dedicated member. <laughs> Amy, that's funny. <laughs> Rose, I won't stop going and visiting Elvis and putting a flower on his grave because she might be there. She's caused enough pain to Elvis when he was alive. I'd ignore hers. Rose, that's a good sentiment. Whether she's buried there or not, Pay your respects to Elvis and Lisa. That's why you're there. You're not there to pay respects to her. Just walk over her grave to go see Elvis. <laughs> Sharon, Dick Grubb said Vernon and Colonel already had plans for opening Graceland, which was shared with Prissy. It's in his book. Why? Well, I, I agree. The city of Memphis was already turning gears with Vernon, thinking about opening before Prissy Pants even got a hold of 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 it. So. The truth is out there. You just got to dig. Cat girl blue. Cheryl, she claims that she was out taking a spin on the bike. <laughs> Amy, see, that's my fear. What's next? Navarone buried at Graceland too? I pray. I pray not. I hope not. Tim, Billy and Joe were always there for E. They get the least amount of credit. It's very sad. They never get invited to anything. It makes me very damn mad. Well, it does. They should be invited. They should. It's about time, but it's up to them. Elvis Chick, good going, Rainbow's dad, none of them. <laughs> Thanks, 11389000. Was there ever a time you liked Priscilla? Once upon a time, I would see young pictures of Priscilla and young pictures of my mother, and I would put my mother... And Priscilla's pictures together. And I'd be like, hey, mom, you're much prettier than Priscilla. Priscilla seems mean. And my mom would be like, how's Priscilla seem mean? She's smiling. I said, mama, that smile is fake. You can see it a mile away. But your smile lights a thousand shit. So there's your answer. I never liked her. There was something about her from the get-go I never liked. And not, it's not because she had Elvis. A lot of other women in, in the world had Elvis. I do not not like them. It's just there was something about her, the way she looked, the way she smiled. It just seemed like she was hollow, like there was nothing there, you know. And to this day, you can see pictures of her all day long. But look in her eyes. Is there something there? Because to me, it's hollow. There's nothing there. It's all fake. So, that's the answer. <laughs> Sue, ha ha, you knew back then. I never thought much about her, about her, to be honest. I just saw her pictures, and I could just look at her, and I just felt like there's something off. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Amy, I'll go visit the meditation garden and walk past hers, but I won't pay and buy a ticket and go inside. All right, Amy. Kimberly, certain places that Elvis went to. Yeah, give more money to Tupelo instead of Memphis. Go there. They always do a great thing there. I actually like where his old home place is and how they have the park and everything is arranged in Tupelo. Spend your money in Tupelo. They need it more than Graceland does. <laughs> so. Elvis Chick. Because Navarone is her baby boy troll. I don't know. But he better not be buried at Graceland. <laughs> Especially someone who wished and couldn't wait to tell all of us that he was so happy that Lisa Marie died. <clears throat> and, let's see. 
Um, Jojo, you sense his deception. Yeah. You if I do sense deception from time to time, especially certain people or people I'm researching or looking up, you know, you just get this feeling, this feeling. So yes, Tupelo, I want to go there in Sun Records. Then go there. They don't charge much, and it's a lot better, I think, than going to Graceland and giving your money. 85% of it goes to EPE, and 15% of that goes to Riley and the Twins. <coughs> Mary Ann Ellis, I think we have to support Riley, Finley, and Harper. Priscilla has taken enough from the grandkids. I agree, but then again, I want to see what their actions are, girly. I got to see who they're for and what their actions are. And so far, I haven't seen much or I don't like what I am seeing. So I'm at that point right now. Until my, until my perception has changed, I'll let you guys know. But right now, I'm on the iffy level on, on all of it. On all of it. Will Elvis Chick for real. Will he loves. Elvis Chick for real. Will he loves David. If so I'll never watch him again. All Stanley's lying moochers. Haven't you seen his David Stanley Westgate video. Well they all know how to grift. That's for sure. Rube, night night. I'll watch the ending tomorrow. Always enjoy your show. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you for watching. Love you. Everyone wants to drink from the fountain of Elvis. Seems like it. Seems like it. I'd rather drink from the fountain of Jesus and we could just go home. <laughs> Karen, there's a lot more going on than we know about the Presley family and of it extended family. There is, and it's all behind the scenes, and we don't even know what all is going on. But we can speculate, and we can sit here and laugh about it from time to time, but that's pretty much, you know, what I've got for you this week. I do have one more thing. I'm going to wait till you guys quit talking. <laughs> I do want to read you one thing before I go. Do you guys permit me for that? I'm going to read you one article before I leave because it has Riley. It has something to do with Riley. So let me see if I can't find it. Let's see. It came out a few days ago. And here it is. It's from USA Trends. And here's the uh, title. Amidst the Elvis Estate drama, Riley Keough reveals the chaos. Oh, she's going to reveal the chaos? Whew. Really? Let's see about this, guys. The sudden death of Lisa Marie Presley briefly pitted Keo against her grandmother, Priscilla, over control of Elvis's estate and Graceland. Riley Keo insisted there is both clarity and happiness within the Presley family after the sudden death of her mother, Lisa Marie Presley briefly pitted Keo against her grandmother, Priscilla Presley, over the control of Elvis's estate. In, an, in a new interview with Vanity Fair, Keo summed up the conflict that emerged after Lisa Marie's death. When my mom passed, there was a lot of chaos in every aspect of our lives, she said. Everything felt like the carpet had been ripped out and the floor had melted from underneath us. Everyone was in a bit of a panic to understand how we move forward, and it just took a minute to understand the details of the situation because it's complicated. We are a family, but there's also a huge business side of our family. So I think that there was clarity that needed to be had. I ain't going to read any more because it doesn't say anything else we don't already know, but I want you to take that home with you guys, okay? Hmm. Their family is complicated, and there's a huge business side of the family. So the family's complicated, and there's a huge business side of the family. And that's all you need to know. So that tells me a lot of it's fake. That tells me a lot of it is smoke and mirrors. That tells me a lot of it is staged to make them look like a happy family. 
That to me shows photo opportunity. Okay. But that's, if you get anything out of this show, get this. It's whatever they give you. It's whatever they want you to believe. Now, you can be just like every mom and pop and believe everything that they dish at you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Or you can be an independent thinker like the rest of us and go, oh, is that what they're popping at us this week? Well, let me look at the other agendas going on and seeing if there is another agenda underneath all this other smoke and mirrors. So you got to find out for yourself, guys. But for me, for me, I believe that they're just showing us what they want us to see. That it's not really the way that it is. And we wouldn't really like the way that it is. In fact, there's probably things said about Elvis behind the scenes that we probably wouldn't even want to know. But we love Elvis. And we love him. And that's what brings us together is Elvis, guys. It's not about his family. It's not about his twins. It's not about his ex-wife. It's not about, you know, his, his grandbabies. It's about him. Him. Period. And we always get off that subject of Elvis, you know. But don't worry. I'm always here to get us back on track, guys. This is the man that we came here for. This is the man that we want to learn about. This is the man we want to hear about. Not all this other stuff. Granted, a lot of this stuff kind of drags us back in, right? That's what the media is supposed to do. But guys, keep a level head. And know there's other agendas going on. And that agenda is about the oldest agenda known to man. Money, honey. Money is greed, guys. It's a lot of greed that's getting involved in all this. A lot of it. So until you guys finally get that they're showing you what they want you to see, then a lot of y'all wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. But I already know a lot of y'all understand what I'm saying because you guys know it is perfectly clear that a lot of this stuff is fake. It's whatever they want you to see, whatever they want you to hear. Okay, and every once in a while, they'll get caught in a trap and it'll be shown that that we were lied to. And I love those kinds of days to actually reveal what was lied about. But until then, you have to, you know, take things, um, take things to heart, but also do your own research in order to realize is this real or is this fake? Is this real or is this fake? So, and it's getting worse. So you guys do your own research, okay? And come up with your own conclusions. But my conclusion about this whole entire thing, period, the pictures, her being front and center, the Elvis Act, all this is publicity. That's it. Publicity. All right? This is all to make money. Okay? And, and, and I'll get with you, Tina. Yep, you're right. That's why Lisa and Benjamin are, are, are buried on the other side by themselves. Because there was no room next to Grandma Dodger. So I don't even know where Priscilla thinks she's going to have her big butt buried. But it, it's not going to be where, where she wants it to be. That's for sure. She's not moving no grave. And granted, we'll have to talk about this all over again when she does die or when she does meet her maker or when finally Zanu Zanu comes and takes her to the mothership or whatever she believes. So that's pretty much it, guys. Maria says thanks for the graphics, Tanya. So thank you, girl. Rainbow24, you're right, Shauna. BS, Elvis was the business, and he had more love to give than Squatterzilla had in her nose, and this is in what's left of his blood. I don't feel the love. I don't either. we got to find it where we can find it, guys. The only Elvis love I feel, it's not in those people. It's in you. It's in you as Elvis fans. That's the Elvis love. That's the love I feel. The love of all of us Elvis fans. Not his family and not his estranged grandbabies that never met him or knew him. No, it's in us Elvis fans. And that's the truth. 
okay? So anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go for the evening. I've been going for an hour and 30. I wish I could go longer, but I hear that my little boy is still up, and he needs to get his butt to bed. So it might take this mama to get his butt into bed, but it's 11 o'clock, so I've got to go, guys. I love each and every one of you guys. You could have went to any Elvis channel tonight, but you didn't. You came to mine. And for that, I love you guys for it. Thank you guys for giving me your hour and 30 minutes. I hope you guys were enlightened. I hope you guys were entertained. But most of all, know that you guys are loved. I love all y'all, guys. All y'all. Thank you so much. Tanya, thank you for the graphics again. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to do a show next Wednesday. It's Flaming Star, Elvis's movie Flaming Star. So you must watch the show next week to win this movie. All right? And Clementine, get with me later in my email, and I'll send you the movie out ASAP. Okay, guys, I love you all very much. Have a safe, safe weekend, okay? And know that God loves you, and I love you. Okay, TCB, TLC, God bless you all. And you know what? You know what, guys? I'll see you on the other side. Bye, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and like it if you like this video. Okay, guys? I'll see you next week. Stay safe, everybody.